Welcome back to BNC Live. In a small Massachusetts town, investigators believe hate drove a white man to shoot and kill two black people standing in their neighborhood. The two victims are both law enforcement and armed forces veterans. BNC's Drake Clark is live in Winthrop, Massachusetts, where the two were killed. Drake, good afternoon. Brittany, good afternoon. You can see a memorial behind me to the victims here with balloons and flowers and signs condemning hate. And on the other side of that fence that you see there is where the story begins. A madman, a white man, crashed a truck into an empty building, then grabbed his gun and went running away from the scene looking for the first black people he could find. The shooting happened here last Saturday afternoon in the small town of Winthrop, Massachusetts, which is a neighboring town to Boston here. Police say 28-year-old Nathan Allen crashed a stolen truck into that empty building, then ran away holding a gun. And witnesses say he ran by several white people before he turned his attention on 60-year-old Ramona Cooper, a black woman who he shot three times in the back. And then he shot 68-year-old David Green, a black man, seven times in the head and torso area. Allen later died after a brief exchange of gunfire with police here. Investigators believe Allen was a white supremacist after finding handwritten notes from Allen expressing anti-Semitic and racist statements against black people. Ramona Cooper was an Air Force veteran and David Green was a retired Massachusetts state trooper. Not only were these people, these two victims of color, they served their country, no matter what color they were. They served their country, they served America, they fought for America, for the land to be free, and for black lives not to matter or feel that they're free from hatred and from racial profiling is wrong. This is... Now, when... Winthrop is a majority white town here, but it's not known for being racist or hostile towards black people. That's at least according to some of the black people we spoke with here today here. Uh, but certainly people say there is no doubt that the two black people who died here last Saturday, uh, that black man and black woman were only gunned down simply because their skin was brown. Brittany. And that is just tragic and heartbreaking, Dre. Well, do these investigators believe Nathan Allen acted alone, or are they actually concerned about more attacks? Yeah, at this point in time, investigators believe that Nathan Allen was a so-called lone wolf. They believe he acted alone, and they are trying to put the community's concerns at rest to let them know uh, that they believe that this was an isolated situation, a very unfortunate one nonetheless, but they do not believe this is a, a part of some larger plot involving multiple individuals. They just believe that for whatever reason, uh, Allen chose last Saturday as the day to go ahead and act on his racist beliefs. It has to be done, something done to put a stop to this. BNC's Dre Clark, alive in Massachusetts for us. Dre, thank you.